Hi Do It Yourselfers. Today we have another project we're working on. Today we're in my son's bedroom and he was saying how his closet was really dark and uh, when he opens it up, especially when the light is turned off, but uh, it's very dark in here and he wanted to know if we could put one of those motion sensors that turns on the lights in his closet like we have spread it throughout the rest of the home as well. So what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna do a two-part series here is we're gonna put an LED strip right along there so as he opens the door or walks up to here motion will turn on the light for a couple of minutes and then turn it back off. But in order to do that we need to put a wall outlet on the inside of his closet. So we're going to tap in to that wall outlet uh, on the other side of this wall somewhere up in this range up here and put another wall outlet in there so that we can put the LED light into it and plug it in and make it look nice and seamless like it's part of the home. So that's the two-part series that we're going to work on today is the first part is we're going to put the we're going to tap into the wall outlet plug it in up there and then put the LED light in with motion detection plug that into our Apple smart home and be able to have some automations that turn the light on and off and allow that light to come on when he opens up his door or walks up to that. Should be a fun little project. Okay, since we're dealing with electricity, I need to make the disclaimer. I'm not an electrician. I've been doing home improvement projects for a long time. I have done lots of electrical work in my own home and I try and keep it as much as possible to what the electrical standards are. But if you're not comfortable with electricity, definitely hire this one out because the first part of the series is working with electricity, tapping into an existing electrical box. I'm going to do it to code. I got the right wire. I got the right outlet box. I got the right outlets. I got all the right parts and pieces and I'll walk you through that. It's not that hard. It's one of the simpler things to do. But if you're not comfortable with electricity, please don't do it. Here are the parts and pieces that I got so far that I think we're going to need in order to do this job. So I got 15 feet of 14-2 cable that basically has uh, two wires in it. It's got the neutral, the hot, and a ground wire built into it, Romex wire. So 15 feet is more than enough to do this job. That's uh, going to be for a 15 amp circuit. And then I have one of these remodel boxes which we'll uh, be able to put anywhere on the drywall. And it's got these little connectors here that you just turn the screw and then they go up against the drywall like that. And it allows me to put the wire, tap in the wire to the outlet on the other side, push it through the wall, come out the hole, push it into one of these knockout blocks here area and wire it into the outlet itself. So we got a new wall outlet. And so we have all the parts we need, including the cover, I think in order to do this first part. The tools I think we're gonna need so far is I got a light, of course, because we're gonna turn the power off. I've got another light that's just a headlamp light. And then I have my multi-use tool to cut the hole out that I think we're gonna need. So that should work really well. And I got a drill with some drill bits and uh, a drill and some, uh, got a flathead and a Phillips head on there. Of course, my tool kit, kind of got my tape measure, some tape, razor knife, level, pencils, and Phillips head, flathead, screwdriver, and some sandpaper uh, in case we need to sand the hole I cut out to make it clean. So that's what I think we're gonna need to do today's part of the project. We have the power turned off into the room here now and first step is just to go ahead and take the wall outlet out and feeding the new wires back through the, the back. Just gonna double check, make sure I got the power off and everything. I'm positive I did, but you know, just to be double check. Yep, so we're good, no power. And this is what we're gonna tap into here. So I already got one of the uh, breakout blocks broken out in the back already with the wires coming through. So now I'm gonna take some of that Romex wire cable and uh, feed it on up through there. But I think before I do that, 
I'm actually going to cut the hole in the wall so that I can see where I want to push, start pushing the wire up to and towards and be able to try and fish it back out of there. Got the closet cleared out mostly. So what we're thinking here is, is that we're going to put an outlet like right there and the other outlet is about right there on the other side of the wall. So I'm going to measure and cut out a hole right there for the new outlet. Just measured this box and in order to put it right where I want it to fit that perfectly, it's two and a quarter inches wide by three and three quarters inches high. So I'm gonna go up into the closet up here and measure a spot out that I want this to fit into about that size and then get my multi-use tool and we're gonna get at it. Pretty clean. Let's check to see the fit. Let's see if I have to cut any more out. Oh man. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect. All right, got the hole just where we want it. Nice and neat, a little vacuum, and it'll be good down there. We're making pretty good progress here. Got the hole in place. And now we gotta just like get the wire fed from down there up to there. Not sure if you can see very well, but in the back back there, there's already wires knocked out. So I'm gonna get this Romex cable fed up through there. I'm gonna try and get that through there too. Little hook, so I can try and hook that with my tape measure on the other side and pull it on up through. We'll see how this goes. The wire up there, I didn't was not able to put a bend in it. It's too tight back there. So I tried to push it through at an angle try and see far how far up there we could get it that way to right about right about there so we'll see if I can see it or capture it with my tape measure at all and I think that was my problem aha there it was okay thank goodness it wasn't on the other side of that 2x4 that would have been a mess There we go. So, have the wire here, fished through, we're good. Next step is cut the wiring and get some wire nuts and wire this outlet to the new outlet. So that's the next step. So I think I'm gonna get myself some room. That much room.
So we've got these wires attached now. Got them twisted good. Now I just need to attach these wires, the hot and neutral wire, sorry, hot and neutral wire back to the outlet here. Put this all back in there, feed this, snug all these wires back in there, and then we'll move on to the other side. Coming along real fast. All back together, got the screw facing up so dust doesn't get in there. It's the way I like to leave them. Now on to the other side and we'll get the other outlet uh, wired up on the other side and put in place. On to the next step. Got the first outlet and wire all hooked up and put back together. Now we're going to go into a closet and finish wiring that up. So we're going to put the outlet box on in there and pull the wire through and then cut the wire to size and attach it to the outlet. Easy peasy. Thread the wire through here. Put this out there. Make sure these are in the there like that. So now we gotta do is tighten these up and it'll suck itself against the plasterboard on the outside. Oh, we got that part done. We've got these screws attached. This thing's nice and solid in there. It's sucked up against tight against the back of the plasterboard here. And so now we're just on to the next step of cutting the wires. The wires trimmed down, cut to about the right size, trimmed back, trimmed a piece off the end and got a little curve on here so that we can attach them to the screws on the outlet. Okay, we have it wired up here. So we have the ground going to the green, the white going to the silver, and the black going to the brass looking ones on this side. So that's where the load is, the neutral on the ground. And just go ahead and wire, push those wires back up in there now and attach that to the outlet and get the cover on. Then we should be ready to test. Got it all cinched up and tight. Last thing to do is just go ahead and put the cover back on. There we have it. Looks professional. All done and then on the next part of this project is we're going to put the LED light strip on here and the power wire will come out and plug in right to there. So we should be good. Go ahead and turn it on and test everything out. Got the power turned back on. We'll plug this fan into it. Test it out. Oh yeah. Works good. Yes. Hopefully you found part one of this video of how to light up a dark closet useful. And if you did, please give it a like. And if you really want to find out how to light up the dark closet with the LED light, please consider subscribing to the channel and you can watch part two. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.